So you've always wanted a Suzuki Jimny, but you've got kids, dogs, groceries, or anything that requires space for that matter. Well, if this was two years ago, I wouldn't have many options for you. But as of late 2023, the Jimny has been available in five-door guise. So let's see what has changed. On the outside, the Jimny still remains cute. It just looks slightly longer. It's still boxy, rugged, and quirky. Interior styling remains the same as the three-door, with a combination of hardy plastics, square design elements, and a touchscreen infotainment system. Back here is where you're going to see the biggest difference, because let's be real, the three-door Jimny had a backseat that was made for ants. Don't get me wrong, it's not like we are in a super roomy cabin here. The Jimny is still quite small, but it is much better with the fact that I can actually sit myself here. And at the same time, I've got two extra doors, which makes practical sense for this vehicle. With the five door, the boot space has been increased to 211 liters, which is still quite small, but it is much better for a weekend away. So if you've driven a Suzuki Jimny before, you'll know that this car is set up for going off-road. The variant that I've got is the All Grip, so that uses a part-time 4x4 system, so I can toggle between 2 high, 4 high, and even low range. In fact, the Suzuki Jimny is known to humble even the most serious of off-roaders due to its capabilities off the beaten track. Because the Jimny is set up for going off-road, when you're driving on a normal road, the ride quality always felt a bit disconcerting in my opinion, especially in the three-door. Each time I'll take corners in the car, the body roll was so bad it felt like I was going to topple over. That's a little bit different in this variant, I feel, and that is because they have lengthened the wheelbase by 340 millimeters. So I've got a longer Jimny now, and as a result, it does inspire more confidence when you take corners. The car is also 100 kilograms heavier, but to me, that weight difference isn't so much that it should make a notable difference in terms of how this car feels. But I will tell you that it is more compliant on a normal road now that the car is slightly longer. The Jimny 5-door uses the same 1.5-litre normally aspirated 4-cylinder. It still produces 75 kilowatts and 130 newton meters, which is not a lot, but the Jimny is not known as a fast car. But I'll say this, driving this car at sea level does make a notable difference in terms of how this car responds. The extra 20% of power that you gain when you're at sea level makes for a much more angrier Suzuki Jimny on the road, and to me, that's a good thing because I first drove this car in Joburg and there it felt very slow. Pricing starts at 430,000 Rand for the two wheel drive version of the Jimny 5 door and it tops off at roughly 480,000 Rand for the all grip automatic. I personally would go for the 4x4 spec because if I'm going to buy a Jimny, I am going to go off road in this car. If you're planning on buying yourself a Jimny and not going off-road, I would say save yourself a bit of money and buy yourself either a Franx or a Grand Vitara because those cars are better suited at driving normal roads compared to this car. This is the kind of car that you want to buy because you can do the normal day-to-day -day stuff with relative ease, but you really want to take this car off-road. But I guess at the end of the day, as much as I can recommend those other vehicles, this car has got that cool factor that those others simply don't have. Overall, the addition of the two extra doors really makes a difference to the Jimny nameplate because I feel that this car now belongs in the mainstream, whereas the three-door was just too impractical for my liking, and as a result, it made it a very niche car for most consumers. This car, however, does have that added practicality and I think it should appeal to more Suzuki buyers and I'm hoping that this will be the mainstay in the Jimny range because it just simply makes much more sense.
Welcome back to Ignition GT. Toward the end of last year, we had the privilege of driving the very first five-door Jimny at the local launch in Botswana, an adventurous environment in keeping with the spirit of the vehicle. But how does it fare in more common everyday driving conditions? Gents, have you guys driven the Jimny? Of course. I mean, I've spent a considerable amount of time with this new car. Um, yeah. I've driven it down to the Free State at the Jimny Festival, which yeah. was a fantastic event. Yeah. And of course, as well to Botswana. And it's been an absolutely amazing car. Yeah. I mean, the Jimny has always been a much loved car. You know, Correct. it's a fan favorite amongst yeah. many of us. And, you know, to think that such a small little car is as capable as it is, yeah. is remarkable. And even just driving it, you know, around, you know, it's also just a very good daily as well. Yeah. With the added practicality, of course, right. this makes it that much more appealing yeah. to people who are sort of on the fence whether they should buy the three-door or not. Right. So it just makes so much more sense. Yeah, I mean, you know, you mentioned now the added practicality, especially in that five-door now. And I think that's what people were always, you know, shy about. And exactly. when you look at the Jimny range, I mean, it starts at 429,000 Rand. Exactly. And right now, you look at it, somebody who can, you know, was looking at buying a T-Cross or even a Toyota Corolla Cross exactly. can now look at exactly. getting into it's a Jimny and I think capable. much more capable now. Unfortunately, you know. I haven't gotten it on test, yeah. but I would say at the Motoring Festival of last year, we Correct. were going around in, it in their test area around yeah. the Raptors and it performed yeah. way better than the big machines, I can say. They were as its small size comes into it and I think people would appreciate the added legroom and more space for Correct. more passengers as yeah. it's a very reliable, practical vehicle. Yeah, I mean, even in terms of interior, when you think about, you know, practicality, that interior now, wireless Apple CarPlay, exactly. wireless Android Auto. The new additions to this model have exactly. been so much, ma well, welcome, this yeah. makes it so much more appealing. Yeah, I mean, I think the Jimny overall, right, it's always been an entire David versus Goliath, exactly. and I think this is the David. <laughs> entire, you I know. mean, look, look at the car communities, the groups that it has, yeah. the fo mm. cult following it has. That should tell cult. you how big the car is performing and yeah. how good it is. So I think just the people that buy it should tell you enough about how good the vehicle is. Yeah. Dynamite really does come in, in small, small packages. packages. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. You do get a four-speed auto as well exactly. as a five-speed manual. I mean, exactly. what, are you, what, what would you rather opt for? So I'd go with a five-speed manual okay. because I think Suzuki's make or Suzuki rather make some of the best manual transmissions Definitely. across the board. Yeah. It's a really, really nice transmission to play around with, you know, especially in town, yeah. even on the open road. So I'm, I'd go that way. I'll, I'll well. try and opt for the automatic. Just like I call this the mini G-Wagon. These cars actually <laughs> spend most of their time on the normal road. Yeah. They're on off-roading. So that comfort of not changing gears all the time would really suit well for me. Hey!